how to improve your networking within the industry? Pretty loaded question, honestly. Um, but I think it starts, I'll open up the conversation with, I think it starts with being just genuinely an a, a interested, kind person who's engaged in, into a conversation, right? Whether that's a broad or specific conversation. And from there, I think you can very easily participate in conversations and engage with people that really helps form relationships pretty easily. Yeah. I mean, think of how many of all of us hate cold sales. You hate when someone random DMs you and asks you, um, like, do you want to join this or should we collab on this? It's like, I I've never had any communication with you. So what my advice would be is to like authentically communicate with people, authentically consume others' content that you do want to collaborate with or that you do want to create a network with. Anyone that we have personally with NPD created a network with has not started with, oh, I'm trying to like just have something and have our names together so that our audiences all um, like overlap. It's more so of building relationships and then being able to build that network bigger and bigger and and deeper and deeper because with building those relationships, you'll see what direction you want to go within that network. So um, for ways to do that, if you're in the bodybuilding community, going to shows is huge. Um, but even just interacting with people, if you don't know how to start a conversation, make it a genuine comment, not just like, oh, yes, girl, or oh, believe that, <laughs> like truly respond to the yeah, questions Alex, they're asking yeah, on their Instagram, whether it be in a caption or on a story. If you you comment something thought provoking or you ask something back, that's where that networking is going to start to take hold. Um, and I have found that that's much more, a much more sustainable network than just trying to reach out to anyone within your sphere and try to network that way. Yeah. And I'll, I'll add just valuing people's time. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you're going to to reach out, be willing to to pay whatever fee it is to have that hour consultation with whomever you're wanting to meet with or what have you, um, just really value people's time and, and, and be direct and, and those different factors and um, just be yourself as well. I, I think that one thing that individuals uh, kind of get caught up in, especially as they're getting into you know coaching or just into fitness in general, is that they feel like they have to fit some specific mold. And um, I, I think that I potentially felt that way when we first got things going you know, seven plus years ago. And, and now we, we're having the greatest success that we've ever had. And it's more so just because we've we've done what we've wanted to do. We've we've been ourselves and um, we've been able to connect with individuals, incredible individuals solely off of them being um, great people and, and, and just aligning with us and those different factors. So I think being yourself and valuing everyone's time is is very important. And supporting their success. It's something that if you are constantly a little bitter about things, they're not really going to want to network with you or care to share information with you. A lot of the relationships that we've built have come from just being genuine, interacting, supporting them and their cause, and then being able to have deeper conversation and deeper connection past that.